Yes, let's, let's go. go. Throw the hook with the best of them. King Kong beat your chest, should have slept on you. What's, What's next? next? The check drip dip from the neck, check hook by the book fish hook off the deck. Show, Show me. Throw the hook. Shouldn't have slept on you. See what's going on right here. Up off net? Yeah! Up off net! What's up, my people? This is Showbiz or don't. Alright, man, look! So, ESBC, they got their gameplay trailer. Whoops! Alright, man, look! First, I want to say this. Uh, I'm on my way to the gym, but I saw, got a notification that ESBC, uh, Esports Boxing Club, uh, Club got their uh, gameplay trailer. I am looking forward to this one. Uh, just to let you know, this is a reaction. Uh, I'm going to link the original uh, video, the actual trailer uh, from uh, their channel in the description box below. But let's check this out. Let's see what uh, what they got going on, man. I mean, really, I'm so excited for a boxing game. I mean, I mean, what has it been? 11, 12 years? To, it, it's just been uh, too long of a wait. It's been too long. <laughs> so let's check this out. <clears throat> Hey everyone, it's Ash at Steel City Interactive. Hey, how you doing, um, buddy? In this video, we're going to take you through the gameplay mechanics within ESBC. Oh, this is not a trailer. Uh, they take us through the mechanics. None of it's okay. final. It's still in alpha stages. Okay. And with your help and feedback, we'll continue to make improvements. With help and feedback, I need to do it. Do I got? I, I need a pencil. Give me a pencil, piece of paper, or something. Where's my notebook? You know what? You know, I'm, I'm gonna let them ride. <laughs> but I'm going to have some questions and feedback. Let's go. So these are the items that we'll be covering in this video. Um, oh, obviously, man. as the game progresses, okay. we'll be dropping more Career developed aspects. videos covering more aspects of the Raincraft. game. Things like referee, the clinch system. So the items clinch? that aren't fully the clinch integrated. System. But this is uh, a good starter for us to get into. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> so one of the standout features within ESBC is the movement. <laughs> way better than the little stuff that we were getting. I'm sorry. I, I just lost my mind too early. Let me, I got to listen to what he has to say. Let me rewind this a little bit. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Let's go. The clinch system. So items that aren't fully yet integrated, but this is uh, a good starter for us to get into. So one of the standout features within ESBC, the movement system that we've developed. Uh, here you can see David Adelaide Getting himself out of danger what? by throwing a nicely timed check oh! hook. That in itself is a is a new feature with regards to the punch control. That means you have complete freedom in terms of your fighting strategy, fighting off the front foot, back foot. And oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I'm just looking at the strongest man um, and the way he's kind of moving defensively. I'm, is that just his natural movement? I'm pretty sure that they explain this. I'm sorry. Let me go back some. That is incredible. Of your fighting strategy. That Fighting right there. the front foot, back foot, uh -huh. and also pivoting yourself out of him. danger with check hooks. And he walked using off. the pressure of your opponent uh, to your advantage. So within these clips, you can see the physics system in action. Not every punch will be 100% accurate. Ah! Some punches will glance off arms, gloves, chest, and you can kind of see that. Some punches will glance off the arms and ch so i wonder if it's a physics system so if you land directly on like the sweet spot is it like a one punch ko so damage must be different based on where it lands there must be different sweet spots to the head you know what i mean like if you glance off the shoulder or to the does it take some of your body damage and your head damage some of it but if it's flush right on the sweet spot or on your temple behind the ear wherever is that more damage? Do you get stunned? Is there, you know, increase the possibility of getting stunned? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just saying, these are all the questions I have. With the jabs that have been thrown. Here you can see David fighting off his back foot, throwing a, a back foot jab and a back foot straight. Nice. Hi guys, this is Ethan. I'm a gameplay faint programmer system. here at Cancel SCI. Delay. And I'm here to talk to you about the uh, faint system. So the faint system can be activated by using the same button as block 
but instead of holding it down, you just tap it. Nice. So you can do a feint while you're throwing a punch, while you're throwing a lunging punch. Uh, you can use it to interrupt your punch altogether. Oh, you can't right. a different punch completely. So you can see here in this clip that I'm throwing a, a leaping left hook to the... You see the feint. If you have somebody like Terrence Bud Crawford, I'm sure some fighters can faint better than others just based on their attributes. I'm sure, like Amir Khan, you better be fainting, fainting, because you, you don't want to get hit with anything flush. You don't want anyone, you're just aggressive, okay, with that chin. All right, so I'm sure, you know you know what I'm saying? You, you cancel this. Oh, so wait a minute. It must be so you can faint to the, to the head, throw a left hook to the body, so... That's good to know. So there must be a block to the head, block to the body, two different blocks, right? Or maybe the feint, if you hold block, it makes you block a certain way. No, we wouldn't want that. Maybe there's two different blocks. You, you have to actually block to the body and block to the head. Okay. <clears throat> the body. Uh, I cancel the punch after I've done part of the animation. I transfer into doing a left uppercut to the head. So this is useful for mixing it up with your opponents so they can expect one attack from you, but you actually do a different attack instead. Ah. Hi, I'm Andy Turner. I'm the art director of SCI. Uh, this thought looks I'd just incredible. Give you a quick overview of uh, animation systems. So our, our movement system. Oh, look how they have to gather. Really fast. Look the how they're. Uh, we the wanted to get away the from the sort of standard, sort of clip-based animation, uh, where you kind of like loop clips to 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 put movement together. It just looks a bit robotic to me. So we. Right. So like any other. Game. I mean, no diss to any boxing games before, but I'm saying, you know, it's revolutionary, so they didn't have that. You're right. Like, when you looked at other boxing games, you look at a fighter, their footwork and everything is the exact same animation no matter what. Even when they're kind of standing still, you still see the... It, it made no sense, though. You know, it, I mean, you, you couldn't expect anything else. I mean, it was back in the day. It was 10, 12 years ago, 15 years ago at times. So, yeah, yeah, I'm expecting revolutionary movement, you know, by this time. But that looks fa fantastic. Looks fantastic. The We've ropes got look a new juicy, though. Where it, it isn't done like that. It's much more performance based. You know what I'm saying? It looks so juicy. That's really good because like, when the professional boxers come in, they can, just, they can just do what they do best. They know oh. how to move. We're not, we're not telling them how to move. They do. See the hand movement? Based yeah, on what yeah, they, they got really real. Do, yeah, that's uh, motion capture. Um, yeah, that's perfect. We have perfect. our own motion capture studio. He'll so tone. They can come in and we can just let them do their thing within within certain constraints that we give them, um, so that we can. Capture so all the, of that—that's just the animation. I was wondering if those were taunts. Nah, that's just the animation of the fighter. All right, that's beautiful. So yeah, like you said, it's not a looping clip. It's their animation, the way they move, they must have picked certain things. They just let them move freely and they pick certain things. So now, you know, that's why you didn't see the same head movement at the same time, you know, no matter what. It's, it's not a rolling clip, like he said. That makes sense. It's natural. It, it feels organic. It's beautiful. Uh, the best parts of their movements. Oh, uh, did he just switch to southpaw and, their, and right punches back? punches and... Um, Blocks and, and moves. I'm, I'm Terrence Crawford. They're all captured <laughs> here. I'm Terrence Crawford, bro. There's no traditional animation as such. It's all. Oh, you see how he captured. shook his shoulder, right? That so was the beautiful. adrenaline system was introduced because adrenaline we system. wanted something more than just a stamina bar mm. depleting. We wanted there to be the element of really going after a fighter if you think they're in trouble or oh. or if you just want to get them out quickly. So what the adrenaline system does is. Once your heart rate reaches a certain uh, BPM, your stamina will max out. But as you can see stamina here, oh, so. the downside to that is your maximum stamina reduces uh, significantly. There's also a cooldown timer oh. on this. Oh, so okay, you... okay, wait a second. And I heard the cooldown timer. So you have the adrenaline. If you don't use it, it cools back down. But you're working somebody, foul, foul. You got them hurt, and now your stamina is at its high peak. Bam, 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 you work it. But if that dude is rope a doping and he's weathering the storm, you can punch yourself out. That, where's the Tyson Bear? That is beautiful. That now you guys outdid yourselves with that one. That is beautiful. I love that. Let's hit the Tyson Bell again. Beautiful. Beautiful. You have to really pace your fight. You gotta pace your fight. Otherwise, you could end up being gassed out. 
after three or four rounds. After three or four rounds, you can be gas. No spamming! No spamming! Let's go! Right hand, right hand, right hand. Side step, side step, side step, side. Man, get that out of here. Not here. We box here. I love it. I love it. Don't get me hype. So the counter punch system works oh, really well with the movement, this is, uh, as this well is as the game, range of punches available, uh, whether it's front oh. foot, back foot, he, he, he telegraphed or that left to the foot. side. Oh! Did you see that hook to the butt? I'm oh, sorry. So we've done away I'm with. I'm sorry. Let's see that again. Oh my goodness! He, how he stepped to the side with that left foot to the butt. So the counter punch system Bam. works really well with the movement, uh, as well as the range of punches available, uh, whether it's front foot, back foot, oh my or goodness. to the side. You know what I really liked about that is it the the whole motion of the camera. The game didn't slow down. Like. Hey, you're open for a counter. Boom. Bam. No, it wasn't video gaming. You got to real time counter. Bam. Dude, hold on. Let me get my room temperature. This is room temperature. I'm hitting the gym like a beast. This is crazy. So we've done away with mini games in ESBC. Uh -huh. Oh, um, no mini games. This corner scene. Is, is still very early in terms of what's going to be shown uh -huh. but essentially the quality of your corner team will determine how much you recover okay I, I so we wanted that. fight stances to really make a difference especially in, my uh, in career, terms of what stance. you decide to have for your fighter as an example the Philly shell will block certain body punches so rather than uh, you having to always press block to block a certain type of punch uh, you can let your stance do some of that for you each stance will have a pro and a con to balance things out. Oh! That makes sense too. So, yeah. Give me. So, you're sitting in a Philly shell. That makes sense. Because, okay, I don't hit block, but my arm is still here. You know what I'm saying? It made no sense for somebody to throw a body punch. His arm there, but you hit my body? No, you hit my arm. It's physics. It's, it's physics based system. So, if your arms are here naturally, it's going to block naturally. It's physics based. Oh my, so you don't even have to, sometimes you don't even have to, if it's where your arm, if you're, if you're sitting here in a stance like this, it's going to catch it. But if you block, I'm pretty sure it take less damage off because you're holding a block. But if not, it, you're still, it's still physics based. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. We'll be releasing a career mode video in the future. Mm -hmm. um, but here are a few alpha aspects footage. that we can share it's just the alpha. in this video. So this is the promoter screen. Wow. Um, this is where you'll sign with the promoter for a skills, certain number of fights. The promoter aspect is, is important Lou within the Bella. career mode because Lou. it will determine uh, how fast it you can climb the rankings table, oh, nice. how quickly you can get a world title shot, your popularity, uh, and also when you're negotiating uh, a fight. <laughs> so the negotiations... <laughs> Anybody going to uh, choose Bob Barrel? Bob Barrel! <laughs> if, hey, dude, I'm... <laughs> No, 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 I go, I go. I'm, I'm just saying, I, I get it. You you don't want to get caught up with a promotional team like, hey, man, I can't unify. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. There's probably only one belt, though. Is that, I'm sorry. There's probably only one belt anyway, the WBC belt. <laughs> All right, come on. Screen is impacted by your promoter. Everything from the percentage split through to whether the fight is at home or away. Things like the, the training camp is in your control. Nice. That'll impact your finances. Uh, but we've also added a few uh, gameplay elements, such as having injury insurance should you get injured. Wow. Uh, or should the opponent get injured uh, in the in the lead-up to the fight. Uh, there's also a rematch clause. But whether you're ranked higher or lower than the fight that you're going for will determine the chances of success. So this is the... So if I have a low chance of, of success and I take it anyway, I'm one of those Arturo Gotti type of guys. Okay, how well do I get rewarded in my payoff? Also, rematch clause. Wow. So in signing the contract, you can sit back like, I'm not signing, I'm not, I'm not signing that, dog. You could be a cherry picker. <laughs> I'm not signing. Do they have a rehydration clause? We go, <laughs> hey, if Canelo's in the game, every contract would have a rehydration clause. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, here we go. 
the opponent statistics screen. Um, once your fight negotiation has been successful, you can go wow. and check out your opponent's stats. And negotiate or what's available will through. be determined the by how good it. your coach I did, I did is. So I got the wrong if promoter, you have a high-ranked coach and who has skills uh, in, in the areas that are required, then you'll be able to see your opponent's strengths and weaknesses and his ratings. Um, so, so if you have a bad coach, you, don't, you hey, just go into the fight. <laughs> hey, I don't have tape. You don't, you don't have tape for me? I can't, you know, study the fight. Nah, man, we don't need tape. <laughs> like, I'm about to switch. I'm about to get Derrick James or, or Renoso. <laughs> Give me Roddy Shields. You ain't got Roddy Shields in the game. Give me Roddy Shields, man. You need to have a good coach yeah. to be able to see your opponent's statistics. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. This was great. We hope it's given you more of an insight into how ESBC plays. plays As I said at the start, Current. everything you've seen oh. is in alpha. Is we know there's some alpha. funky things happening in the game right now. We've got to work on environments, crowds, Thank you. the Never. character models, the, character the punches, yeah. the movement, everything. So uh, nothing's final, but hopefully it's given you a good indication with regards to the direction we're heading. Yo. Thank you for watching and keep an eye out on our social media channels for the launch of the next ESPC Fighter announcement show. Beautiful, beautiful, A plus, A plus plus, A plus 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 plus. Remember the Christmas story? Plus, plus, plus. That's what I'm on, hit the Tyson bail. Uh, Fantastic. For I mean, to have it look this great at Alpha, I mean, I, I know a lot of you guys know what that means. Okay, we're just at Alpha, and it's looking this fantastic. A++. I'm extremely excited. I'm going to tell you what I'm very excited. Th though they don't have everything just completely figured out, I like the direction they're going. I like the direction they're going and how they're thinking. I hope you guys like the reaction. This was, I mean, that is that is fantastic. I'm extremely excited. Uh, really, you almost could have given me anything, but to really make the first boxing game that we've seen in over a decade be this inclusive and this huge, this 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 is going to be the best boxing game in, in history. I'm, I'm totally convinced. Showbiz, Lord, don't. Y'all did yourselves. I'm out. Huh.